And if you happen to have one of these <clears throat> little Harbor Freight sanders. Or if you're planning on picking one up. Adjust the belt. Many people buy these expecting them to work right out of the box and you have to put stuff together. Um, but the motor usually is either too tight or too loose. And before you put this all together, putting the disc on and the upper guard if you're going to use it. is to pull the cover off the belt. Loosen these four bolts on the motor base. Pull the motor back, tighten the belt to where you want it. But you need to make sure that these two pulleys are parallel or in line with each other. If you just pull the motor back, you have no idea where this bottom pulley is at in relation to the top one, and if it's cocked or you just chew up your belt. Plus, what little power this thing's making is trying to keep the belt in the pulley instead of just turning it. Onward. Okay, real quickly, <clears throat> the belt cover and four screws and it comes up. You need to check once you uh, adjust your belt, but you also need to check, let's see if I can do this, that the pet pulleys are parallel and flat to each other coplanar uh, you have to find something to, that's flat it's only ten and a half inches inside the cover so you can't use a ruler but whatever you happen to have but you need to make sure that these are perfectly parallel to each other guard goes on before the disc so I can hold it in place with one screw you want the slot there's an opening in the top of this. You want this at the top. Uh, the other thing when you're aligning the guard is you need to pay attention, especially if you're using the table, that this ends up level. If it's if if this is rotated too much and it will when you put the table on there you can't get it close to the disc because the table will hit the edge of this so you need to make sure that this is fairly level and when it goes on there this slides on I don't know if you can see them but there's notches it's easier just to align them and slide it on there check that this is fairly level the rest of the screws in there, tighten up the disc, and then you put your wrench down there. On, on the edge of the disc is a mark, there's a little slot, <clears throat> and straight up, and that's lining the Allen screw with the slot on the top of the Allen wrench, and then crank it <clears throat> pretty tight. It is advisable periodically to check that set screw because it does come loose.
once you have that on there your dust port if you're going to use it then it goes on and tighten it up but if you need to adjust the belt you really need to pull the cover off to make sure those pulleys are lined up and flat to each other so it's easier to do initially and that's why I put this piece of flat bar against where the motor is once I had the pulleys aligned put that flat bar in there so the motor can't twist it can only go back and forth to adjust the belt and the pulley alignment won't change anyway and it should be now I'm going to add this here quite a few people mentioned that these ports are not standard it's like 1.4 inside and 1.6 outside um, and the little one on the this sender like I said I use this for wood and the amount of dust is horrendous and this other than not slicing your hand off is very effective at pulling dust but anyway these little stepped ID OD adapters kind of amazing the inner second ID fits my Craftsman shop back the little end grabs that normally I'm on a table where this is easy to get to with the hose and the OD of the second step fits this pretty snugly and these things are I don't know five six bucks I think this one came from Home Depot I don't know you can buy them just about any place I have several of them um, but I mean they may just make handy little adapters they fit all kinds of stuff I don't use the vacuum of course I don't use like I say I don't use this very much horizontally and I haven't bothered to set up a you need an elbow to get in there to attach the vacuum hose I haven't bothered with it there's a kid that on YouTube that making a little adapter it's a little T adapter that plugs onto this and plugs in your hose but it has another outlet with a smaller end that will run over and plug into the disc sender which I may pick up one of those it just looked kind of cool um, I don't remember the the user's name I looked yesterday and they're still available on eBay about 15 bucks because I have to stop unplug this plug in my adapter into the six inch it would make it a little simpler anyway just an FYI the step one of the instructions it's mentioned at the back under maintenance but it should be step one line the pulleys and check the belt tension